flat ass, throw it, throw it, uh, throw it, throw it, uh. Walked out of here, dead ass. I ain't even gonna look my hair, lashes. I don't know what the fuck going on this morning. But anyways, you guys, um, I was trying to do an intro. <sighs> Let me hold on. Hold on. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel with your girl D Dimples. Thank you for tuning in today. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel. Be a part of the um gang. If you're a returning subscriber, what to do with DBT gang, you already know what's going on. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I literally walked out of here because I had to do a drop off, y'all. And I just like felt so basic. Like I just felt been feeling so like basic lately. Like I threw away all my makeup, y'all. I throw away all my makeup before I even came to New York. Like, I just got rid of a lot of stuff. Like, I got to start literally all over again with every single thing, and it's, like, so annoying. But anyways, y'all, look at me jumping right into... Look at me jumping right into the damn vlog or video today, you guys. Um... As you can tell by the title, you already know what we're going to be getting into and talking about today. This is the Get Ready With Me, along as my um, surgery update. This is month um, four and going on five months for me right now. Um, I got a lot of catching up with y'all to do. I got some Q&A. If y'all see me looking to my notebook, because I got my notebook right here, I have the Q&A questions and stuff. Um, little notes that I need to mention while I'm doing this vlog um and what else I wanted to let you guys know before I get completely sidetracked um yeah so for those of you that don't know if you ain't watch my you can, you can go watch my previous videos I had a tummy tuck um abdominal plasty have you that's what they call it um april 18th of this year four months ago and i left you guys off i left my subscribers off i left the viewers off with a one week update yes i've been behind um i already told you guys you could watch my previous videos while i went ghost but um i got a lot of catching up to do with you guys so i'm just gonna put on some lashes today do my hair do my edges and um go back out the door like go outside these is the lashes i will be wearing today right here these are sparrow i got these from the beauty supply store you see they only two dollars because who could be paying all that money for some lashes yeah yeah but anyways y'all and i'm gonna be using um i'm not gonna be using no glue to put my lashes on. I'm gonna be using this um, lash adhesive. I actually per did a promotion on this product for their company. It was on my, I, I had like 78 videos on my channel, you guys. I'm in the process of rebranding myself. So I deleted a lot of videos, especially them because, baby, um, 
we're not gonna get into that but anyways their product is good this is high O. it's in black it's adhesive it's like mascara they have it in clear and black um i was looking for the clear one because i didn't want to look like i had on any makeup today because i ain't been feeling that vibe lately so um we just gonna let it do what it do but this is what i'll be using to put the lashes on i got my mascara um i got my edge brush y'all i don't know why i don't know why y'all i do not know why i think i got good hair to be using this if you got 4c hair if you got nigga hair if you got natural hair this will never work for your hair. This do not work. I've been using this since August 12th. This do not work for my hair. I don't know if y'all can see this already. I tried to do my edges. Well, only this side this morning because I'm knowing it's, it was not, it's not going to get it. But I just did my edges this morning around 8 something. What time it is? I think it's like nine to what, 10 o'clock now. And look at my damn, look, there is no way. Ain't no fucking way. Like it ain't no way. Like, and I'm still fit to try to do, use this and do something with this. But it's like, so aggravating, like. But anyway, you guys, like I said, um, <clears throat> I don't know which order to go in because it's not scripted. So let's just begin. I don't even know how to do my hair, none of that. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing to my head or nothing. But um, yeah, y'all, um, I got my surgery four months ago in Miami. Um, and if you're interested in seeing my journey and um, my surgery journey and my process and stuff like that, watch my previous videos. I'm also gonna have it um, up here somewhere or whatever um yeah so let me just get drop these notes and then i'm gonna get into the questions so the first thing is um i wanted to let y'all know i st my surgery was april 18th i started taking my vitamins um march 29th and i was also because at that time y'all a lot of people kept saying i didn't need to do surgery this that and the third but i was 200 in I was 210 pounds. I was 210. My height is 5'6". That is obese. You know what I'm saying? That is unhealthy. So I had, um, was on YouTube and, and I don't work out. I haven't worked out since high school. I ain't work out since high school, you guys. Like I literally used to do um, weight training in high school, but that was many years ago. I graduated in 2014, so that was what, 2013, 2012. Like, that is a long ass time ago. My patience and my mental and all of that is not even up to par to be in somebody's gym trying to lift weights and weight train. So working out before surgery, going to the gym was not my thing. Even though they told me, they told me um, I didn't have to um, lose weight. I just did it anyways because it's like me. I felt like I was too big. I started really realizing in the mirror, seeing myself like you was getting too heavy, you was too big. And then I, when I um gained weight, I gained weight in my upper body, not my lower body. I gained weight in my upper body. You know what I'm saying? So it's like um it wasn't given. It wasn't given. Like my weight, the way I am now, cause I'm gonna be doing, uh, I'm gonna get back into my influence and stuff or whatever. But if you guys go over to my Instagram and see my pictures, you might think it's fine. I look normal, this, that, and the third, but baby, I was overweight. That was uncomfortable, uncomfortability. Like I used to have to wear shapewear to hide my stomach. I used to like do a whole bunch of stuff. So I was going on YouTube seeing, um, looking up like fasting, like, what can I do to lose internal fat um, like regularly, like without going to the gym and stuff. So I came across this channel. She's a YouTuber. Her name is Sonia um, Castaneda. I'm gonna leave her, um, put her stuff up here somewhere. And her video was a 16-8 fasting. And you know, I was working overnight at that time. So um, I put my hours to 7 p.m. to 11 a.m. to fast. 
and then the other six um six i eat the other six hours but usually i didn't never get a chance to eat because i was asleep because i was working overnight shift um as a cna i do have my cna license y'all i am a cna certified okay but um yeah so i was doing that for a minute until it was time for me to go get my um my surgery and what else i wanted to let y'all know i'm gonna be showing y'all videos and pictures of me before and after like before i went to go get my surgery and stuff and how i looked it and stuff like that so yeah um i didn't keep i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hold y'all i didn't keep up with my weight like from month one, month two, month three, no, no, no. I just know, like when I got to month four, I was 180 pounds. And yeah, let's jump into these questions. A lot of you guys, um, I put on my Instagram. Damn. All right, so I put on my Instagram story, um, um, a Q and A, and you guys were DMing me and sending me questions from the Q and A, and also texting me. There's a lot of you guys were leaving questions under my um, journey videos that you wanted answered, which I thought was obvious in the videos, but you know everyone is not the same. So, um, so I just wrote everything down, and hold on. Yeah. I ain't got no mirror. I'm sitting in front of the motherfucking um, shit. But, um, yeah. So, the first question is, who was your doctor? My doctor was Dr. Reyes. And I went to um, APS Institute in South Florida. If you go watch my journey video of me getting my surgery, you will see the place itself. You will see the whole entire process, you guys. If you, if you guys really go to watch the video, I know it's like an hour long, but a lot of people don't have, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people have short tension span, you know? So with that being said, um, if you guys take the time to really go watch the video, I know it's like a 55 minute long video, but it includes like the whole entire weekend. Like it was an Easter weekend to be, it was Easter weekend to be exact. And I was showing y'all the turn up. I was showing y'all, um, Every, like when I got to Miami and everything I had to get and stuff like that, I actually recorded the place, the um, people and everything like that. So if you have the time of day, take the time up to go watch the video. I'm gonna leave it right here so you guys go watch that. But um, my doctor was Dr. Reyes and it says, what procedure did you get? I got the abdominal plasty. You guys, I was supposed to get um, Lipo 360, Lipo 360, right? And a tummy tuck. But I was like, I don't even remember why I backed out of doing that. Um, the Lipo 360. But anyways, you guys, yeah, I was supposed to get the Lipo 360 and it was like, um, I don't remember why I backed out of that. And I just got the tummy tuck. But you know, automatically with the tummy tuck, they supposed to Lipo your flanks and your, uh, I guess your stomach and shit automatically and do the um, muscle repair. So I did get muscle repair and I did get the tummy tap. But bitch, I ain't getting no motherfucking lipo to the flanks. Like I was so pissed off, y'all. Like dead ass. Um, do you recommend them to anime to anyone? No, I do not. I don't recommend Dr. Reyes or that place at all. It's not the um. What you call it? The customer service is a 10 out of 10. Don't get me wrong. The customer service is a 10 out of 10. But as far as, you know, um, Dr. Reyes, I can't speak for no other doctor. I only can speak for the doctor that I um, had an encounter with was Dr. Reyes. So I do not recommend them. So I don't recommend him at all. Um, why I don't recommend him is because I never, I only, I never talked to him. I only was dealing with, um, the coordinator, um, Lucy, she was the best. Um, I forgot the other one name, I forgot her name. But the customer service there is a 10 out of 10. They're super nice, they're super informative. If you have any questions or anxiety or fears or anything that you wanna know, they help you out. Like their customer service out of everybody else is a 10 out of 10 because I had did research for a long time for years um, since I had my first child in 2014 about, you know, getting a BBL, getting like a BBL, but 
Um, I never went through with it. So it's like, I was just like, you know, doing my research on this stuff. I didn't just come out the blue and just like, oh, I want to get surgery or I'm going to get surgery. No, I actually took the time out to research this. Y'all, I'm going to have to come back to y'all once I put these on because I don't got no mirror in here. I'm going to have to go in the bathroom. So give me, give me, give me a minute, bro. Just, just give me a minute. Just, 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 just one minute. All right, y'all, I'm back. I got my lashes on. Um, this sun, it's like, anyways, y'all, the next question is, how did you find out about the doctor and who did it? Which I just answered that question, but I found out about the doctor through my sister because my sister went and got a BBL from him. Um, <clears throat> he was cheap. And um, that's how I found out about him. The next question is, did you go home same day as surgery or the next day? I went home the same day um, after I had my surgery. I went home. I went home that same day. Um, did you have to save over the time period? No, I did not have to save. I got my surgery April. I got my um, and then I'm just like I said. I was seeing it. I had a good pan, a good pan job, y'all. Like I was getting, I was getting money. You know what I'm saying? My paycheck was like what thirteen. 13 to 1500 every two weeks. So I had money, so I did not have to save up over time. Um, how are you feeling after surgery? Well, that same day after surgery, I already explained that. You can go watch my post op one, two, um, one, two, and three um, videos. Um, I felt, you know what I'm saying? To me, I just felt normal because I felt like did nothing really get done. You know what I'm saying? next one what are the do's and don'ts before surgery okay the do's and don'ts before surgery listen to each his own you know what i'm saying i'm not a doctor i'm not you know i'm not none of that stuff but i'm just speaking from my i'm just speaking from my experience um the do's and don'ts the do's i'm going to start with that do take your vitamins do eat healthy do take care of your body do make sure that your iron levels are good do make sure that um Everything you have to do before surgery, um, like your lab results, make sure you eat it good. You have to be healthy. And this is what people don't be um, explaining to y'all because everybody want to get in this surgery, want to get surgery, this, that, and the third. But no one is explaining to y'all that you have to, like it's a must. You have to be healthy. You have to be healthy. Like you have to be eating good, no smoking, no drinking. Um, you have to um, take your vitamins. You have to make sure your iron levels are good. Like you just have to be healthy. healthy. So the dudes all, no matter what procedure that you're getting, um, whether you're obese or whether you're just in between or whatever, make sure you're doing the right thing. You take care of your, you're taking care of your body. That's first and foremost. And the don'ts, I would say, like I say, don't smoke, no, don't drink. Um, don't mentally, don't overthink shit. Like that right there will, cause anxiety and fear and if it's something that you really want to do and that you've been planning to do and you always wanted to do for a very long time there should be no reason or nothing stopping you nobody no nothing like that that's our my do's and don'ts um do your research just keep researching um because everybody's journey is not going to be your journey everybody have different experiences so do your research that's what i have to say um next question do you have to fast? If so, how long? Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. Um, I did fast. I did fast. So when I did go do like take my weight and stuff before I went in surgery, I was two hundred and four pounds. So mind you, like I said before, to begin with, I was I was two ten. So that means I lost six pounds by fasting. Um, I'm gonna leave her information on the screen. I already showed you guys. Um, that's the method I was using. The um, sixteen to eight fasting thing if you guys are interested you can go check that video out because it helped me because that's what i did um how much did it cost so my tummy tuck since i didn't get the lipo 360 or none of that stuff i just got the um muscle repair and a and the tummy tuck and that was i think forty three hundred dollars yeah it was just forty three hundred dollars because i didn't get no lipo at all even though he was supposed to automatically still do the lipo to the points because that comes with the tummy tuck I ain't getting none of this shit, and, I, and fuck, fuck that shit. 
Um, how's the pain? I got a high pain tolerance, so I was not in pain. My um, my brother and his girlfriend was like literally like, ain't nothing wrong with us. Like, wasn't nothing wrong with me. I'm, I'm not no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not no baby. Like, I'm a real bitch. Like, I, I do this. I do this. You feel me? <laughs> nah, for real, y'all. Like, the pain was um, on a scale. The only thing that was ignoring me and I felt like was, it wasn't pain. It was just aggravating was the dreams. The dreams got on my last motherfucking nerves. Y'all don't understand. I don't want to sit up because then the sun goes in my face. Hold on. Let me see. Let's do this. Is that better, y'all? Cause that sun is beaming in my face. I was scared to sit up. But yeah, y'all. Um, them drains, them drains is draining. Like that shit is annoying as hell, y'all. I think I'm just do a half up, half down for the butt. That's what I'm gonna do. And just do my edges. But yeah, y'all. Them drains is is annoying as hell. And y'all, let me show y'all how long my class is. Nah. I know y'all want to see the body. Um, it says, do you like your procedure? Um, to be honest, I like it because my flab is gone. And I'm going to leave a video up here so y'all can see how bad body I was up under the shapewear. Because it was not given at all. If you go to my Instagram, like, everything is bomb, put together, sucked in. And I'm tired of sucking my stomach in. So, and wearing shapewear. Like, no, nah, I'm not going to be doing that for the rest of my life. So, um, I like my procedure because my stomach is flat, flat, like on flat, and um, that was my only insecurity. Like my ass, I don't give a fuck about no ass because this pussy grip. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this cat is good. You know what I'm saying? It's just my stomach and the flab and the excessive skin had me like very. Um, it had me very insecure. So yeah, I like my, I like it. Um, the main supplies used. My main supplies that I use, if you guys go watch my um, tummy tuck supply list, I only use like one third of that. Like, I only use my water bottle, only used, um, I didn't even take all of the heel fast. I'm not even gonna cap, I only took them for two days. Um, I only took, only used my liposuction thing, the little black thing. I use my water bottle. I use half of the, um, not half, but like, that don't even count. What else I use out of that? I use my doggy pads and, um, what else? And my vitamins. I use all my vitamins. Um, my, that's it, y'all. That's all. That's all I mainly use. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. When dreams got my dreams got took out my first um week. I think I showed you guys. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, if you go check up, check out my first week um post op. That's when I got my dreams removed. I will show y'all a video if I did it in my previous video. I don't know, y'all guys gotta go check that out. But I'll just leave a video up here after I got my dreams out my first week. Um, how you feel there? I feel good. Like, I feel normal. Like I said, I'm like four months and a half right now. I feel like absolutely normal. Um, next one, did it hurt? Nah, it didn't hurt to me. How did you sleep? Y'all, sleeping was so annoying. Like, dead ass serious. Like, I had to, I'm not, I don't sleep on my back. And so, just doing that alone was annoying. I lay on my back, man. I would lay on my back. I don't sleep sleep on my back like no i don't sleep on my back so that was just aggravating as fuck like i had to sleep sitting up like i was in a fucking recliner chair and it was so annoying like no this is not what i do it's not what i do so um i had to sleep like i had my pillows up under me I had two thick fluffy pillows up under my own thighs. I had like 50 pillows behind my back and I had to sit like this, I mean sleep like this. So basically like this, like with my feet up, my back sitting up, I had to sit, y'all get what I'm saying, sleep like that. Um, what made you do it? 
um, like I said, I was um, obese and I had excessive skin. Um, even if I would have lost that weight, my skin still would have been saggy. And I showed y'all videos before how I looked. Like, nah, everything y'all see on IG is, is, is sucked in shapewear. It's not bad, like, nah. Um, and that was my biggest insecurity. And for years, I've been wanting to get a BBL for years. Um, but after me having my kids and stuff like that, I wasn't concerned about no ass because I was pulling and I was pulling anything I want to. And then on top of that, I was in a new relationship and I was very comfortable at the time. And he was very comfortable at the time. So it was like nobody, like I didn't have no, nobody in my ear saying, oh, you need to do this. Oh, you need to do that. Nah, I did that for me, baby, because I'm not going to be doing this. Like it became a hassle to literally have to fucking um, do that shit. Like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be sucking in my stomach and buying shapewear and girdles and shit. Like, look, I'm young as fuck. Like, what I look like um, doing all that. Like, nah, what the fuck? Yeah, like, what, what the fuck I look like? I'm young as fuck. Like, what I look like buying girdles and fucking shapewear and shit. Like, nah. I'm not doing that. So, yeah. um, it says, why you ain't just hit the gym? Like I said before, bitches ain't got time for that. Don't nobody got time for no goddamn gym. Everybody's not the same. And for those of you that are gym heads and that would rather go to the gym, if that's your prerogative, yeah. feel free to do so. But everybody is not on that type of time. Everybody is not no gym head. Like. Everybody don't have the patience, everybody don't have the time, everybody don't have the mindset or the mentality or the energy to get up and, and make that a um a thing. Like, like nah, don't, ain't nobody, nah, man, nobody doing this Um, do you have to maintain it? Well, what I did to maintain it, I got seven massages right like like right after surgery. So them whole seven days, right, right after I had my surgery, I got seven massages. And um, I recorded that too, if y'all missed that. Um, yeah. So that's all the questions that I had written down. Um, people wanted to know like where I got some of my vitamins and stuff from. Um, go to my tummy tuck supply list. So everything that I got is in the description box below. All of my stuff came from Amazon everything you guys everything came from amazon but stuff was my vitamins came from um what that was walgreens and cvs i think walgreens and cvs is where my vitamins came from but mostly all my stuff came from amazon and let me do i ain't do my edges yet but let me just give y'all what y'all want to see right now and then i'm gonna do my edges and then i'm gonna come back and just close out this video so this is me right now these pants are size 13. Hold on. These pants are size 13. As you can see, like. So, yeah, y'all, these pants are size 13. As you can see, these jeans, I had these jeans for like two, three years, and um, I could barely fit these damn jeans. Like, I couldn't buckle them up, I couldn't put them all the way up. I couldn't do none of that, like, it was a no-go. But I don't wear my, um, my, um, shapewear thing no more. Let me take this. Take this off, y'all. Y'all can see. Alrighty, you guys so that concludes today's video if you like this video if it helped you um leave a comment and a like down below i'm about to get out of here i'm about to get out of here you guys so um i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for tuning in let me tell y'all about that gel look at it
that gel don't do nothing. You know what? I wish I would have had my um diaphragm lace front um gel. It is on my edges, but you guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the tuning in. Um, if you like this video, leave a like and a comment down below. Don't forget to shoot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope this video was informative. And yeah, I will update you guys later. And I'll see you guys later. And also in my next video, I'm about to be out.